Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Living a Little. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how you can apply for UK visa, whether you are traveling for work or you are traveling as a tourism. I'll be sharing the step-by-step -step process on how you can apply for visa, what are the documents required and various details which are required during the application process. If you're new to my channel, I'm Atya Chaudhary. I create information vlogs on life abroad and I share information about study abroad. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the bell, bell notifications to receive updates. And if you guys watched my videos already, you must have watched my video about the nightmare we had while traveling to UK. So that's a different story. I don't usually create travel vlogs. While I was in UK, I create a lot of travel videos, but I could not upload because I'm not so confident about travel vlogs. So keeping this aside, let's move forward talking about how you can apply for UK visa. So without any further delays, let's get started. <music> First thing first, you need to go to the official website for UK Immigration for Ireland. There you can check if you are eligible for UK visa or you actually need a visa to visit UK. So you can check the list over here. And so we are applying for standard visa. So the application fees like the visa fees changes with time. At the moment it shows £95 for 6 months and then you can apply for extended months if you like. And once you scroll down, you will see an apply now option. Let's click on this and language will be English and moving forward next. Select a country to provide your biometrics. Here we are going to enter Ireland because that is the country we are applying from. It just asks like if I have identified the country and before we apply for the UK visit visa, it just asks you a couple of questions like before you start your application, you should know which sort of visa you are applying for and how you can apply. These are just basic information they will be asking. We click on start now and firstly, I, we can enter our first email address and as you can see, there are two options, TLS contact and VSFL global. So if you are in Europe, let's say you're in Ireland, you will be going through TLS contact, which we'll be discussing further. Next, you need to enter your valid email address and create a password for the same, which you will be using to log into your UK application. If you have any additional email address you can add I do not have so I select no and then continue and you need to enter your telephone number so that you can receive update via SMS over your contact number so enter your phone number here with the country code you can select your phone number type and let's click on save and continue moving on if you have any other telephone number you can select i don't have any no further contacting you by a phone or text so you can select how do you want to be contacted i received call and text messages you will be updating your personal details like your name family name and additional name if you have any previously your personal details your relationship status save and continue and your home address detail where you are currently residing. I have saved mine, didn't show you where I stay. So save and continue about this property where I have been staying. So we need to mention like for how long I have been staying here. So I will mention like how many months when I started based on my residential agreement. I rent it. I don't own a property here yet. So if they wanted to know previous two year records, so they'll be asking you more details if you haven't provided details for two years. So I'll be adding details about my previous rental place over here, like how long I have stayed here. So let's add those, add the address for how long I've stayed there, save and continue. Then again, they ask you for if you have any other address in the past two years, I click no, save and continue. Moving on here, they ask you your passport details, your passport number and your associated details. For that, I have hidden my passport details. So you can enter your passport number, issuing authority, like which country it was issued and issue date and your passport, basically all the details about your passport. Save and continue and your identity card. If you have any national identity card, this will be your residence permit here in Ireland. All the details for that. And if you have any other nationality card, you can press yes and save those. I do not have any, so no. What permission do you have in Ireland? I have a temporary visa which is stamp 
once so i'm going to enter details for that how long it is valid point status you can select student but i'm employed so i'm going for employment save and continue if you are employed you need to share all your employment details and then they'll ask you further questions on your employment whether it's a regular income how much you have saved so far and these are just basic personal details which varies from personal person to person and i'll be sharing more details on documents required based if you are applying for work visa or if you're applying for travel as a student or employed later in the video and this is a tentative date you can add like when you're planning to travel to the uk flight tickets are not mandatory friends for language here i'll select english and i'll click on save and continue Moving on, we have main reason for your visit. For me, it's tourism, so I select tourism, save and continue. Main reason for your holiday visit, again, tourist, you can select family if you're visiting them. And this is like, you just need to enter a small note where what you'll be doing, where you'll be visiting. So I'm adding, I want to visit UK for tourist or tourism purpose. People financially dependent, if there are any, you can select yes, for me it's no. Details about your first parent, I added my mother's details and secondly, they'll ask about your father as well. So both of them saving, moving on, like the second parent, father, his details. And if you have a family who lives in UK, you can provide their information. I do not. So next, will you be traveling to UK as a part of an organized group? No, I'm traveling alone. Traveling with another person? No, I'll be traveling alone. So I'll select no. Accommodation, this is mandatory. You need to book an accommodation. I booked from booking.com so you can cancel for free if there are any issues. So I have added the address for that and I'll click on save and continue. They further ask uh, the address so you can copy paste the details from booking.com, the dates mentioned. So make sure the flight dates which you have mentioned previously in the form are co coinciding with the accommodation detail. If there are any further, you can select uh, continue. Uh, if you have traveled to Australia, Canada, New Zealand, US, Switzerland, any European countries in the past 10 years, you can select for how many times you have traveled. So for me, it's two to five times. So I'll select two to five. Moving on next, details of your recent travel, which countries you have visited. I have visited Ireland. So I'm just making sure that that country is added while I'm applying for the visa. I'm not sure if this is mandatory or if Ireland has to be added, I'm not sure. So I have traveled to Ireland few years back. So I'm adding details for that. Second travel was again to Ireland. So details for that again. Basically, this is just the world travel history. They wanted to know where you have been traveling. So save and continue. Immigration history, I haven't received any visa refusal, no deportation, nothing, no. Continue, breach of UK immigration law, you can read all these and then I'll say no, moving on, conviction on the penalties. If you have any crime, then you can select, so I haven't been in any of these, so no, continue. You can read on war crimes, select no, and I have read all the information before selecting these. So are you involved in any terrorist organization activities? Based on your personal experience, you can select those, but make sure you read all these links which have been mentioned here with every questions and save and continue again person of good character services have you as a part no 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 your employment history if you have been under armed for judiciary medical i'm not worked off any of the jobs so i'll select no security organization intelligence service you can mention those Additional information about your application, if you want to discuss anything, add some note about your application, you can add those details here. Once you will finish this, you will be receiving a page where you will review your application. And if you think all the informations are correct, you can click on continue and it will ask for the mandatory document, which is your passport. Check the link evidence of funds, what are the documents required. And if you are not a national of the country, you will be requiring your GNIB residence permit stamp 1G stamp 2, whatever you hold at the moment. And let's save and continue. Visitors condition. So you can be detained. These are the 
charges which may apply for if you are visiting UK save and continue this is just a declaration like I am the application who is aged above 18 I have read all the information rules check your answers again read all your answers continue visa option so you have various options six months two years five years and the price varies so I want for six months I selected these and save and continue next you will select the visa service so for me it's a standard visa service I'm going to pay for 118 euros if you want to change the length you can just go back and select that so um, I have paid 118 euros so I'll be forwarded to a payment gateway where I'll pay by my credit or debit card so I make the payment next you will receive your provide your biometric option I'll click on continue and you will be redirected to TLS website here which is the third party for UK immigration so this will be your application form you can choose the time and date for your application and you need to upload the documents so let's first talk about the documents you can amend your appointment for a paid version so the documents required varies from person to person let me show the list which can help you to upload your documents so I uploaded my passport, the scanned copy, the residence permit which is stamp 1 for me since I have selected as employment. So I have to show 3 to 6 months of uh, pay slips and address proof which can be used as a utility bill or rental agreement. You will receive the application form once you complete uh, the application form on UK website via email and once you book an appointment from TLS you need to carry that application form during your appointment. You need to show a bank statement for six months which is Irish bank and if you are if you have selected employment you need to show the employment letter and a job offer hotel booking is mandatory you need to show the hotel booking for the dates you have selected while filling the application form for UK and flight bookings are optional if you have booked the flight tickets make sure the flight tickets are booked from the dates uh, which you have selected from the application form which you have filled previously and the estimated time to receive UK passport is around UK visa is around 6 to 7 weeks and so make sure your flights are booked accordingly based on your application. So these were the documents I submitted it can vary based on your personal experiences. So if you have any questions on visa you can comment below and I can help you answer those questions on visa if you're applying as a student. One thing to keep in mind you can submit all your documents here just make sure you don't press the submit button here. You can upload your documents within two to three days that's fine but if you click on submit then there will be a problem as in you you need to submit those documents once you have your visa appointment date and you need to pay 35 euros so don't submit until unless your visa appointment is the next day and make sure you're uploading the right documents otherwise you have to pay 35 euros for any additional documents you will be submitting on the date of your appointment so keep that in mind and make sure you submit all the documents and click on the submit button only when it's done so guys that's relate about the uk visa process if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below i'm happy to answer most of your questions and while applying for the tls website you can apply for a priority appointment or there are various options to receive your visa to receive your passport via courier services i could not show that because i forgot to record the video but once you're on the website while you're booking your appointment you can also amend your appointment but that might charge you more so make sure you're choosing the right date and the time i have received my visa six weeks so make sure your flight tickets your hotel booking are within the time span from your date of booking while you receive your uk visa guys i hope this video helped you a lot please feel free to share this video with all your few your friends and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up that can motivate me further to make more videos and thank you guys for watching this video have a good day